Sister Kim Hardy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I just want to say that you're here with us, that you were chosen to be here with us today. Man. And Man. hope you will enjoy the conference and it be a blessing from the Lord and from the Bethlehem Number One Women's um, Ministry, okay? Amen. I'm going to be reading from 1 Peter, the second chapter and the ninth verse. And it reads as this. But ye are a chosen generation, yes, a royal priesthood, mm -hmm. and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should go forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. I have read First Peter 2 and 9, and may God bless his red word. Amen. 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 All right, now we're going to have a prayer by Sister Joy Murphy. Amen. Oh, Lord, let us let us bring our hearts before God at this moment as we yes, have Lord. been since we woke up this morning. Um, yes. The many that we that could wake up this morning. Yes. Lord, we just we love you. We praise you and we thank, thank you so you much again. for this day. Hallelujah. And Father, we just we come together on this especially significant event that is in a different manner in the zoom manner as women of purpose and we are going to learn about the nuts and bolts of our faith and father father please 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 by the blood yes. of jesus christ we get rid of a competition we yes. get rid of control yes. we get rid of comparison yes. we just ask you father that you would lay our hearts wide open and our ears wide open and our yeah, and our eyes that we might hear we might see you this day and that we might be a blessing to others as we walk on this earth because yes. we are the culture of heaven and yes. we will be your people as we go forth and you have told us in your word we so yes. praise you and thank you for everything you're going to do in this conference and yes. and throughout the rest of this day we are yes. so grateful lord we love you and in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. 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 Um, thank you lord oh i was waiting for somebody else <laughs> so now we're caught up in the prayer. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Right now we're gonna have the welcome and the purpose by First Lady Evangelist Bridges. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 We need to give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. I just thank God. Amen. Because I was I've been thinking about this for months. And then <laughs> all last night I called it called asleep because I was just thinking about how good God was. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I just want to say good morning to all of you, all of you beautiful ladies that's on. And I have the privilege this morning of just welcoming you to our eighth annual women's conference, having it by Zoom, and to give you our purpose and just to welcome you. And it's it's an honor for me to welcome you all here this morning on behalf of our Bethlehem Women Ministry, our women of purpose. And I come uh, to you and thanking you, Amen, for joining us, those who are uh, who can um, join us and in taking a part in this uh, women ministry conference. And our purpose as women of ministry, women of purpose is to help win souls to Christ. And that's all about purpose and to nurture our women and to equip all our women um, for service and to be called bold, to become bold for Christ. Cause that's what God wants us to be, amen. amen. Our theme, amen, is, is the nuts and bolts of serving the Lord of faith. Amen. And it's our faith that what will please God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Because the word says without faith, what? It's impossible, impossible. to please him. So we Man. want to please God. Amen. And yeah. I just want to say in my conclusion, ladies, your faith is worth the leap. Your Amen. faith is worth the leap. So Amen. we must keep on going. Amen. Man. We got to do what God has chosen us to do. He said, because faith, amen, the size of mustard seed. We can move mountains. We can do impossible mm -hmm. things yes. in man. Christ. And I want to uh, pose a question to you all this morning. And I just want you to ponder it, you know, as we go on through this conference. 
but let us look at ourselves first, okay? Right. And the yes. person I want to put out to us this morning is how many people we know come to church or don't come to church mm -hmm. who tithe, who pay money, who sing, who usher, who greet, mm -hmm. amen, who preach, but still don't please God. Mm -hmm. and do we My really Lord. please God with our faith? No. This morning, ah. I just want to say, I welcome you this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. So do we please God with our faith? Think about ah. that question. Ah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Mm. Right. Do we please God with our faith? Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Something else to think about while we're on this. Thank you. And just think on it all day long. Meditate on that, you know, and, and just tell the Lord, God, I want to please you. Please you know, yes. Paul Amen. said if we he's done everything that he's done, he's preached and he's he's helped many get saved, and he <coughs> was able to join the Lord again and reward, then what would it all have been worth? So that's, right. that's what we need to concentrate on. Pleasing God and not pleasing man. That's right. Yeah. Like that. Man. All right. So now we're going to move on with um, <laughs> our table talk. And table talk will be led none other by than our um, leader of our intercessory prayer, Sister Greta Russell. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the table. Amen. Amen. And I'm pretty sure we have all sat at a table once or before, sitting at the table talking about this and talking about that. Mm -hmm. But we, we come to talk about embracing faith. Amen. And realizing that and, and for the embracing faith, you know what the scripture says, Hebrews 11 and 1, now mm -hmm. faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things yes. not seen. Right. And I look up the word embrace, mm -hmm. to hold into arms, to hug. And faith is where you have complete trust and confidence in. Right. And I'm pretty sure we all have encountered something in this last year where our faith has been tested. Amen. And we realize that in spite of what we've encountered, we have to embrace faith because mm -hmm. without God, it's impossible to please God without faith. That's mm -hmm. right. And I like what she said, have our faith feed, how have our faith please God. And, mm -hmm. and saying that, we all can sit here and talk about where you prayed and you believe God for something. Uh -huh. Are you going to hold on to that and believe that God is going to do it, even though it don't look like it's going to take place? You can hold on to either your faith, embrace your faith, or you can hold on to the doubt that it's not going to happen, it's not going to take place. And when you believe in God and you're holding on and you're embracing, you make mm -hmm. sure you're in the right company. That's right. That's right. And the right conversation with, because you're going to have some naysayer and some doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you're sitting at the table, you're gonna have somebody say, Well, I don't think it's gonna happen. Right. I don't believe it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So you got to get the right people in your circle to when you're believing God for something to know that it's going to take place. Mm -hmm. So y'all I can put your input in. I'm pretty sure all have been in a situation where y'all prayed on something because I just encountered it last week on my job mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where someone took and left work, you know, lost her job and they put it all on me on top of what all I had to do. And I was just, I was feeling some type of way and I was overwhelmed, yeah. but I didn't say anything. I went straight to God with it. Yes. I said, yes. God, I need you to do whatever you need to do. Yes. I'm going to hold my peace. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to wait on you. Yes. And within, and then when they told me that, I just, like I said, I went to God in prayer and I said, I told my daughters about it. She all upset and cried. I said, honey, God has never failed me yet. You need to all dry right. the tears up, honey. That's right. So, so it's going to be all right. <clears throat> well, they called me in the office yesterday and offered me another position where it's, I'm going to learn more, but I'm not going to be overstressed with the job I used to have. That's all the right. faith that I had that I know God was going to do. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. y'all come on yeah. and tell me what y'all did at the table and embrace the faith. I know somebody mm -hmm. got something to say about where you hey. were encountering, where you had to embrace your faith in the situation that you were in. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, I think about embracing that faith is about just living that word. And just like you were saying, God never left you. Mm -hmm. And He's showing you show your faith by being an example. And you'll be an example to others by showing your faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, so you gotta be an example of Christ. Christ has to be in us. 
And we can't pretend with God because he knows us. He knows our heart. Amen. 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 So we have to embrace that because he's he's closer to us than anything else. I know that. (laughs) Especially if he's in our life. Amen. So we have to embrace him. And and he's going to take care of all that other stuff that come up against us. So if we're embracing him, Mm-hmm. Gonna take care of those problems, those situations that we get through, go through. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Mm-hmm. And and another thing, we have when we say we're a believer of the body of Christ, uh-huh. we're his representative, we're his ambassador. We're uh-huh. being watched, especially yes. in the workplace, mm-hmm. where we yes. talk faith and we and we talk about how good God is. Yeah. And then when a situation come against us and we start say doubting that. and having an attitude, that. that, that's not that's not our faith. Say that. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Well, I like this thing. I just hate to sound, but I like what Reverend Coleman did. She spoke last year and at, at my uh, appreciation, and she said, um, "She said, uh, don't act it out, but be what she said, be about it, be about be it, about uh-huh. it." Mm-hmm. So that's what we gotta do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> don't just talk it. Mm-hmm. We gotta be about it. Be about it. We got to live this thing out and walk that's it out. That's right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I know uh, the fear sometimes <laughs> grips people. Even, you know, even sometimes a a twin to doubt will come in, but, you know, remember who your, who our God is and, you know, what he has done in the past and the situations that he's brought us out of, like Greta was saying, you know, she told her daughter, you know, he's never failed me yet. And sometimes, you know, we lose a little sight of that if the situation seems insurmountable Uh and we Mm -hmm. remember, you know, we got to be unflappable in our faith that God is. That's why I said that now. Absolutely. God created me for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the the, the currency that works in in the heavenly realm is faith. That fear Mm -hmm. has to be put out. Like that money is no good in heaven and with God. Mm -hmm. So So comfort our hearts. You know, sometimes we do well, but we got to calm down and know who we serve. That's right. Amen. And you know what you're holding on to. I That's like right. what Greta said um, about uh, stay in God's company because he'll take care of you. I like that, Greta, right. when you said that, stay in All God's right. company. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. All day long. If you ask him to keep your company, stay with you, he will. He got to honor yeah. because you asked him. Mm-hmm. I love, you know, I, I really do love um, the talk that we're talking. And, you know, and you're right. You, your walk has to match your talk. You know, Amen. and you know, you're you're if you're in a public or you're in private, it should be matching. It shouldn't be, you That's know, so different cool. at the house as it is at the. At, you know, yeah. it should. I mean, you're you're walking with God all day long. It's not mm-hmm. like He's with us continuously. Right. It's yeah. not He's only there when I'm at B one, or He's only there when I'm at the job, and um, you know, I just there I. I I just have so many things I could say, but I got to hold back. But I, I really want to just, you know, a couple words that came is that like he regret, you know, Jesus is so amazing and he yeah, is so he personal is. and he's so private to me, yeah. but, he's, but he can be so healing and so comforting to the people that are suffering right now. And there's a lot of suffering and a lot of hatred in this world. We all yeah. know that. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. I think that, you know, prophetically, we must listen to the prophetic realms and we must listen and so that he can readdress us. He Absolutely. can re- help us readdress all the wrongs yes. that are going on within us first. And then Mm -hmm. as we maybe minister, like Greta was saying, in the company of those trusted sisters, uh, sisterhood, or somebody that you know is, you know, in your circle of of Christ's love, that you can share, you know, trustingly. And, um, you know, I know probably babbling, but um, it's just really important that we take, take up that high courage in that we have Christ and Christ is everything because I'm nothing without Christ. Amen. Oh, yeah. And you know, I, I I'm everything with Christ, but yes. I, you have to be careful, I do anyways, to not take that um pridely, you know, and it's easy to do because we live in an egotistical, we're human, you know. So Amen. Amen. And I think I think one of the things that she was talking about being in God's presence, and she talked about her job, I think waiting. I think mm-hmm. faith is a part of waiting on God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not going ahead of God. 
Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 You're right. Because sometimes we can move before God tells us to wait. But faith right. tells me I need to be still until God continue working it out. Yeah. Amen. And if we know Amen. God is always working behind the scene. Mm-hmm. Faith right. is we don't have to see it, but we must That's believe it. Right. The Christian mm-hmm. always asks, how much of God's word do you believe? Do you believe that God can bring it to pass? Mm-hmm. Because the proof is always, we can talk a lot, but the proof is always in the waiting. It's having the proof that Amen. I know I can trust God. Mm-hmm. Put my trust yeah. in him, not in myself. And I mm-hmm. think she talked about being in his presence. That's the only way we're able to do it. God, it don't look good today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. Ago, there's right. a lot going on and people are yeah. losing <clears throat> hope. Christians are losing hope. But mm-hmm. when we have that personal, that's why it's right. personal relationship, mm-hmm. that intimate relationship. Right. God is high. Come and you know the enemy will right. come. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, the, but the thing about that is, whom are you going to trust? Are we going to do yeah. it world way? Are we going to oh, do God. it God's way? Right. And Amen. God's way is yeah. always by faith and always by waiting mm-hmm. on the Lord. In a heavenly Amen. way, you know, Amen. in a heavenly way, like yeah. God in the Lord's prayers tells us, you know, our father. And I mean, just recently I have been renewed and refreshed in that when you say our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I used to think that when I first, you know, accepted Christ as my personal savior and, but the world and all the weeds got in and, I, and it took forever to get some of those weeds out. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, you know, but we, we need to have heaven on earth again. We, yeah. we as sisters in Christ, the women of women of purpose need to have that going forth. I yeah. mean, it's just so important to me to, to let that shine, to let Jesus shine, not me, but be, right. you know? That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. A question. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Now, as, as um, a woman of God and you're standing with your sisters or, or someone in God, in God in faith and they're believing uh, something of God, but how do you, if, if you... Um, I, and for me, I've learned just to, to be quiet. If I don't, if I don't agree with what they're saying, God is, is telling them. I've learned to keep my mouth shut. But mm-hmm. um, um, how do you handle like if, if someone is praying for something and you don't feel like it's in, in God's will um, for that thing to come to pass? How do you stand with that person, or do you just uh, uh, how do you how do you handle that situation? Well, basically, you just pray, say that, that God's will be done, because exactly. God knows what That's we don't right. know, exactly. and whoever, exactly. whatever the person is praying for, it may not be what God wants them to have. Exactly. And that, so you just got to pray God's will be done, and we have to accept God's will, because his will is. is the best will and the best way. Even Amen. way down the road, you will see that what he didn't do, you should thank God he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think what she said, um, when she said she remains quiet. <laughs> That's that's the best thing. Just do, you do your yeah. prayer that God will do what He's supposed to do, and you remain quiet because you know, mm-hmm. you, yeah. That that's the best thing that what you said first that that you know you remain quiet, but you know it's I not like that. <laughs> because God is embracing you, He's embracing you, right? Mm-hmm. But is that the right thing in every situation? What you say, Karen? Is that the right thing in every situation? No. The Bible says there's a time. To and for everything. For everything. Mm-hmm. And, and Pastor Bridges has preached it many a times. Sometimes we keep our mouths shut. And when you keep your mouth shut, you if, if I'm doing wrong and y'all see me doing wrong and you don't say nothing to me and you know it, you are just as wrong as I am. You am know I, it's wrong. You know it's wrong, but you're not saying anything. Am I wrong if I have a, if I have if I've prayed? Well, what, and God's saying, well, don't, don't go to her well, right now because she's in a hot moment. Yeah. Right, right now. I'm asking the question, am I? Well, the Bible tells us, okay, two and three touch and agree. We have to be in agreement with what I believe. That's right. Mm-hmm. Right. That's and, and God God says. Says. But then leader, also, we have to be careful not to offend anyone. Exactly. Because right. mm-hmm. we don't want to hurt people. Mm-hmm. That's so right. I always take the low road. Exactly. And I listen very carefully. But then uh-huh. I see the Holy Spirit. 
because I need to make very clear what God is saying to that person. Mm, because right. as we seek the Lord, y'all, he speaks to us individually, but he always gives us confirmation Amen. to where we need to be at. Yes, That's right. Right. So at this time, I may not be able to answer that question for you. And sometimes it's easy to say, if I'm wrong, correct me. But do you know that a lot of us don't like being corrected? All That's right. Why. Nah. We have to have the right. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. Right. Since God right. is in it, he's going to bring about peace. He's not going to bring confusion is. because That's don't right. forget God is not the author That's of confusion. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. As sisters and sisters in Christ, we have to be so very careful that we don't offend one another, that we don't hurt one another. And but we have to do it in a loving way as Christ did. Yeah, right. if you study Christ, he rebuked, but guess what? He Not did, a love. He did anything, it always said he had compassion. compassion. Yes. yes. So we have to and, have and anything that is not of love. There is a time and place for everything. Mm -hmm. and, right. and even Christ walked away from his own hometown when things That's wasn't right. right. Mm -hmm. He could have easily went in there and acted a fool. Yeah, but he knew that that was not the time, and he walked mm -hmm. away. So sometimes yeah, the, you have to walk you away, pray about the situation, it. and if it's it. God's will for you to address it with that individual, <laughs> another right. time will come when That's you can yeah. minister to that person. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, confrontation, especially in these times, mm -hmm. that if you if you bring out the truth, sometimes people can't handle the truth. That's mm -hmm. right, and it gets con it gets confrontational. And mm -hmm. people want to be shooting each other and people want to be, you know, just nervous in panic and fear and something bad really happens, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, knowing the boundaries and knowing, knowing when and you're in tune with the Holy Spirit and, yeah. and knowing, you know, when, when you can and cannot. And, you know, you, I'm not perfect and, you know, we, none of us are. And yeah, right. we have to really be in tune with that's right with uh, that the love of jesus christ yeah. that he goes before us and you know i'm nothing without him in me and if he's in me he's going to go before me because he, he says if i commit my way to him he will act and so <laughs> i will trust that you know yeah. it's a it's a trust and a it's a nuts and bolts thing that's for sure <laughs> I, you know because yeah. Sometimes those nuts, we like to force the bolt or force the yep. nut. And you can't do it because you get metal shaving. It ain't going to fit. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it's a dang mess. <laughs> and you can get hurt. You right. know? Amen. Um, All right. Praise God. Well, we are. We were allowed 15 minutes for um, our table talk. So, Sister Greta, we have one minute left. And if you want to go ahead and... and wrap it up or if anyone else has anything else to say on that topic if we can do it it was in the next two minutes 50 seconds <laughs> <laughs> I, I get another two minutes all right yeah i mean like that's pretty much it but like you say you just gotta embrace the faith and and mm -hmm. towards embracing that just like having a cup full of something you can have a full of cup. that's right you can have a cup full of something negative you can have something cup full yes. of positive it's all about what yes. you want and what you want to put in that cup if you put mm -hmm. a lot of uh, uh positive and you want to have room yes. for confusion depression anxiety yes. any of those things you won't have time to put in that cup if you put the right positive things in that cup and faith and believing and trusting Praise and holding Jesus. on and, and mm -hmm. remind god of what he said and know god if you said it i'm going to do it and i'm yeah. going to wait on you i don't mind waiting on you because if i wait on you You'll give me the strength that I need. So that's mm -hmm. where we are. And that's what we have mm -hmm. to do. And yes. we have to continue to just remind ourselves of that, that, you know, if God said that he's going to do it and our waiting is not in vain. Our waiting mm -hmm. is not in vain. His timing is definitely the best time when yes. he sees fit. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Let's get at the table and be at the right table when you talk. Right. Amen. Amen. And keep, look, and keep Jesus the head of the table. All right. <laughs> all right. Absolutely. Ask Holy Spirit to keep your company all day at the table. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's a Good faith talk, walk, and it's definitely uh yes, it's a faith walk, and that's mm -hmm. what we have to do. That's right. Yes. Amen. Praise yeah, God. Mm, thank you, God. Can we just do that? Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, 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 God.
God. Righteous. Thank you, God. Yes, yes, Lord. It's a process Amen. and we'll get there. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> we'll get there. Now we are going to be blessed in song. Thank you. First lady, please let me know when um you want to do a a giveaway. We are going to do one. Where is it? Where is it? It's not. It's not on there. It's no man. Wait, it's, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's after, after the second. The after yeah. the second facilitator. Okay, we're gonna do all three at a time. Yeah, all of them at once. Okay, there, all right, right there. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. So right now, can we have a song by Sister Carol? <laughs> Amen. 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 I don't possess houses or land, fine clothes or jewelry. Sorrows and cares in this old world, my life seems to be. But I have a Christ who paid the price way back on Calvary. And Christ is all, all in all, this world to me. Yes, yes, yes. There are some folk who look and long for this world riches. There are some folks who look for power, position too. But I have a Christ all in my life. This may Oh, she can. She turned herself off. Give me some music. To though. me. Okay. Yes, Christ is all mm -hmm. means more to me than this world riches. Yes, yes. He is my sight. My God and light through pathless seas. Yes, it's mighty nice to want a Christ. Who will my friend be? Yes, Christ is all, all in all, this world to me. Yes, 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 yes. Christ is all, he is everything to me, Christ is all, he rules the land and sea, Christ is all. He's all the world to me. Christ is all, all and all, this world to me. Amen. 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. yes thank Lord. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Yes. 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 Oh, God, I thank you this morning. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 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 God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Christ is all. Yes, he is. All right. So now we are going to move on <laughs> up to our first presentation um, of the nuts and bolts of serving Christ. And our first facilitator is Reverend Coleman. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jesus. I don't know if everybody got a syllabus or not. Hopefully they did through email, whatever. But um, the nuts and bolts, praise God. I want to start off with a nut and a bolt. Can I, I don't know if everybody can see that. You know what a nut is? And a, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna start out with the tools. If anybody right. knows me, I, I I'm I, I usually do drama or something or write plays, whatever. But this is your bolt. Uh -huh. Everybody, I'm sure, have used this at some point in some kind of furniture or something, right? They oh, come in all different sizes, mm -hmm. and the strongest one should be in some kind of metal. Mm -hmm. And then you have the little round nut that mm -hmm. goes on. <laughs> and if you take this nut and you screw it onto the bolt, the tighter you screw it, the more secure your furniture is going to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. If you, do not put that, if you don't put that nut on that bolt, mm -hmm. eventually your furniture is going to break down. Yes. Mm -hmm. so they must go together, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must yep. go together. So mm -hmm. on page three, it says nuts are all almost <laughs> always used in conjunction with a matted bolt. To keep mm -hmm. the item that you are working on together. Together. Uh -huh. together. That's the key. Example, if you take and put a bolt in, in the item that you're working on and don't uh -huh. use it to fasten it nice and tight, uh -huh. it's going to eventually fall apart, saints. Mm -hmm. It's eventually fall apart. The nut is the tool that tightens the bolt for security. All right. Mm -hmm. Nuts and bolts work together and are very important in building and securing right. an right. item. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a nut and that's a bolt. Mm -hmm. And then when we go to our faith, yeah. Amen. On a on the first page, which I'm sure you hear a lot today, Hebrews 11, 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. Faith is the connecting. Remember, we were talking about connecting bolts and mm -hmm. nuts. Mm -hmm. Faith is the connecting power into the spiritual realm, which links us to God and makes him become a tangible reality to the sense perception of a person. Okay? Mm -hmm. it connects together mm -hmm. faith in god faith activates a response from god it activates mm -hmm. okay faith is the base basic ingredient to begin a relationship with god mm -hmm. but it is not the only ingredient and i got a little give y'all a little work to do here can <laughs> you name some additional ingredients to help develop a relationship with God. Mm. Come on, give me some, ladies. Trust. 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 Prayer. Commitment. Prayer. What did you say, first lady? Commitment. Commitment. Okay. Sacrificing. Time. time. The mm -hmm. word. You need the Bible. The word. Bible study. Yeah. Yes. Fitting time in the word. Yes. Anybody else? Listening to God, just listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's surrender. Yep. You surrender yeah. your will, your thoughts. Yeah, humility. Yeah, right. humility. That's a big one. Yes. Pray sir. with expectation. Woohoo! Right. All right. <laughs> good that something good is going to happen to you. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm. That's it. Yes. That's evidence of things not yet seen. <laughs> something good is going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Fasting. What about fasting? Ah, uh, you just oh, took yes. it out my mouth. Fasting. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, that is the hardest thing for some of us Christians yeah. to do. I ain't gonna even lie. Right. I try to fast over the time while I'm sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cut my fast maybe six or seven o'clock and I'm sleeping. Stop I'm fasting. It. I'm sleeping. Yeah, I'm not around to put nothing in my mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's hard. That's that's a hard one. So all those things are, are great um, ingredients. If you look at it, if you're mixing this ingredients to develop mm -hmm. a relationship with God. Amen? Amen. 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 And on page two, it says, what are two aspects of faith in God? <clears throat> I guess if you look on the pages, the answers are actually there. Yeah, you gave us the answers. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> 
Oh, you did? <laughs> okay. What? Yeah. What are the two aspects of faith in God? Is trust, trust and belief. belief. Oh, trust and belief. Trust yeah. and belief, first ladies, right there. <laughs> There it is. You gotta trust and believe. I, I like will trust. And <laughs> trust. In the Lord. Yeah, trust and believe are the two aspects of faith in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you don't believe, how can you trust something you don't believe? That's All right. right. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Um, and is having trust in God a matter of the blank or the blank? That's on the page two. Yeah. Okay. Hint, hint, hint. Is having trust in God no matter the heart, the heart or the head? Or the head. Is it somebody said the head? Head and the heart. Yeah. Head oh, and the heart. heart. It's, it's a matter of the heart. heart. It's yeah. a, actually the it's actually a matter oh. of the heart. heart. How can you trust yeah, and believe? You get me? It, we know that God has to change our heart, right? Because a lot of times we got so much um, this knowledge in our head and our heart ain't right. It don't mean nothing. Right. Come on. It has, it has to start right. in our hearts. Heart Come on. And then as we study God's word and get closer to him, then we, we can, we, then it'll change our mind. What it says in Roman that we have to change our minds. Our mind. yeah. Right. Yeah. You know? But if it, you got to feel it in your heart first. That's right. That's why he asked us to create in us a clean heart. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. He said the heart is what? Wicked? Desperately uh -huh. wicked. Yep. No, that's happens. what he works on first. If he works no. on our heart, then, then it will change our mind. Change our mind. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yes. Before it happens in the head, it yes. happens mm -hmm. in the spirit. Yeah. Okay. It says, how do trust and belief influence each other? The answer is there. Trust and belief both influence each other because they are part of having faith in God. Yes. Uh -huh. You need to trust in God and you need to believe in him as, as well. well. Amen. Any comment on that, ladies? That's, they, that's fact yeah. right there. You can't have one without the other. Yes. Well, I like to. Um, just like the note in the boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like to give that, an example. Now you get it. Now you get the note in the boat. You can't but you have know, one without the other. That's right. It, it I think it's work. about the washer, though. Sometimes you need to wash her. Okay, and that means you got to get on your knees before Jesus sometimes, mm -hmm. and you need to confess. And and those tears are like the baptism of you confessing. Just you know, I'm soul. sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you need a washer. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's true. That's a little flat thing that goes in the middle. Goes in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I want to do. A, I want. I was thinking about look, bring it to the natural. If we can look at the natural thing of it. Mm -hmm. uh, trusting is like uh, if I'm going to get on an airplane, Ooh. then I'm going to trust God that it's going to stay in the air. Mm -hmm. I trust him that it's mm -hmm. going to I'm going to believe that I'm going to get to my destination. That's it. Mm -hmm. Because That's I it. trust him. That's why it goes That's together. It. That's right. That's why it goes together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Trust and believe. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So trust is the matter of the heart and is aware of God's love. That God loves and loves God in return. In other words, you trust him. He loves me, and I'm going to love him back. Hey, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. For his love. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, I trust that. He, I know that he loves me. Amen. You know, in spite of me. Hallelujah. I know that he loves me. Yes. You know? And then you got believe is the matter of the head. That's where the head comes in. Mm -hmm. It's the belief in the matter of the head and conviction about God. Mm -hmm. That's when our mindset, that's when we got to control our mind, be not conformed sure, to I'm this right. world. That's right. Transforming mm -hmm. by the renewing of mm -hmm. your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where the belief, all right, God don't want me to act like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I have to change what I want to do in my mind. Yeah. You know, because it ain't right with God. And all you right. know that. Okay. I, you know, I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. Mm -hmm. Submit your bodies a whole, um, holy living sacrifice, which is pleasing. And then comes an I transforming of your mind mm -hmm. and not be conformed to the world. You know, the, there's that before that scripture, the transferring of the mind. 
um, is I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to you present your body as a holy. Yes. You have mm -hmm. to present your body. You have to present your body. Amen. 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 So then, on page two, it also goes to works and deeds. Mm -hmm. John mm -hmm. 2, 26, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so work, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. faith without works mm -hmm. is dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. And James also mm -hmm. says in 2.14, what mm -hmm. does it profit, my brother? Mm -hmm. you know, a man says he has faith and have mm -hmm. no works. Can mm -hmm. faith save him? Right. Uh, no. 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 So you can have all the faith that you want. But it move. goes together like the nut and the bubble. The, bubble. the faith right. and works go together. You can't right, just have right. works. Can't, one the other. You can't just have mm -hmm. works and think all you're right. going to work your way into heaven. That ain't what happened. Mm -hmm. all right. yeah. Yeah. You can work all you want. All you're going to do is tie yourself out. <laughs> but you ain't getting in based on no works. Tie yourself okay? out. <laughs> you're going to tie yourself out. And, and, right. and, and sadly enough, so many of us in ministry is doing just that. Yes. Work. Trying to work their way into heaven. Yes. They never right. really change their mindset. They're yes. doing everything out in the world, and then they come into the body, and they want to work their way in like that, what they're doing for the church or what they're uh -huh. doing. Church, but in that building, whether yeah. it's children, singing or, or right. whatever it is, it's going to get them right. in. That's right. You know, so it it goes together. You can't, you can't, work, you can't work it and try to get into heaven. If, if that was the uh -uh. case, Christ wouldn't have never went to the cross. That's right. Mm. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Faith proves itself by works. Mm. Not works by faith. Faith proves itself by works. Amen. 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 I'm moving Love right it. Now. Love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful amen it's good so as we coming in there um the uh i did the nut page here. okay on your page four basically is just some reference scriptures i'm not mm -hmm. going through all that you mm -hmm. know for time's sake but I, I gave you some reference scriptures in here um regarding faith um that you can look up at another time um how to stand fast and and continue in the faith or be strong in the faith or abide okay. in the faith, hold fast, you know, hold and stand <laughs> is two different things. A lot of people don't understand that. Um, but there's scriptures there that I left in for reference. So I'm just going to wrap this up on page five. It says similarities between nuts and bolts mm -hmm. and faith and works. Huh? Okay. Uh, if we look under nuts and bolts, it says, can't use one without the other. Mm -hmm. Faith can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. Can't have it. Nuts yeah. and bolts, the tighter the nut, the better it holds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Faith, That's right. The closer you are to Christ, the better your life will hold together. Hallelujah. Come on now. Everybody understand? Yes. 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 When Thank you start you straying away, Lord. things what happen? Everything Thank starts falling Jesus. apart. Oh, what, mm -hmm. what, what's going on right now? I don't know what's going on. You done loosened up Ooh. that nut from the, from, yes. from, the, from, the, from the boat, and now, now you, you're starting to fall apart. We <laughs> have to right. stay close to the Lord, mm -hmm. okay? So the closer you get, the tighter your relationship Hallelujah. is going to be Amen. with Hallelujah. the Lord. Amen? Yes, Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And Hallelujah. If the nuts start to loosen from the bulb, the objects will eventually fall apart. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, saints, when you start backsliding away from the Ooh, faith, glory. all right, yes. Yes. eventually yes. fall apart. Mm. You yes. fall apart. Mm. It's not no question Absolutely. about it. I'm not saying no question. your salvation, because if you're truly saved, Ooh. you're going to have your salvation. Hallelujah. So guess what? Yes. You are out of you're the will of the Lord, and you are open game for the, for the enemy. When you're yes, out sir. of the will of the Lord, you are open mm. game for the enemy. Yes, Amen? that's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So that backslidden position is like that 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 nut coming away from that Ooh. book. Hallelujah. Yeah. Our connection yes. with the true vine, we're going to yeah. die off. Yes, Lord. Right. Okay? So we got to keep that connection tight, yes. just like you would. That nut on that bolt to hold mm. that piece of furniture yes, together. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. So when the nut, um, mm. when the nut and bolt are made with strong metal, because sometimes 
if you got a light Thank product, you. get it in plastic, that they will last longer. But if you get that metal, that, yeah. that will last longer. That furniture will be so old, it still hold that leg is holding. Yes, up. sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if yeah. you stay strong in the stay Lord, strong. thank you, you yes, have yes, yes, yes. Life. Just like this furniture Amen. may yeah. have thank that you, ever, Sometimes you want to get new furniture, it just won't fall apart because them bumps <laughs> mm -hmm. and nuts is holding it all together. <laughs> right. But guess yeah. what? When you in the Lord, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, <laughs> everlasting life. When you stay close. To him and you yes, know, yes, Lord. his word, studying his word and doing all those things yes, we Lord. talked about earlier, you will have everlasting yes, life. life. Amen. Amen. I'm done. Amen. I'm done. Amen. 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 Praise Hallelujah. Yeah. So every time you look at another boat, you should look at it different. That's all I got. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You know, I look at, I mean, I, I mess around with nuts and bolts and screws and, and washers and stuff in the garage. And I'll tell you, some of those metals are weak mm -hmm. and they can be dangerous if a piece of it falls off and it lodges mm -hmm. in your eye or a finger. You know, I'm, I'm a scientist. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, mm -hmm. I'm a nurse. So I think mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes we have to survive the bad metals, you know, mm -hmm. the bad ones. And sometimes we have to survive the, the bad bumps. And so it reminds me of the endocrine system where you always have that teeter totter, you know, like sometimes you're weak, sometimes you're strong, you know, there we, because we're human, and we go up and sometimes we're down and you know it's a it, it is a daily and all day long sometimes you know where you're up and down and yeah. you just really have to stay you know just know and be convicted that you know without a doubt that Jesus is that strong metal yes. and he his strength is is made great in our weakness mm -hmm. sometimes we're weak metal you know but mm -hmm. he is the strong metal and yeah. you know so that's oh, that's yeah. what i got out of that when i read that it's mm -hmm. so so cool oh yes yeah. amen thank you lord thank jesus. you jesus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. jesus right. we are waiting on our and that's going to be the virtual cooking class by uh first lady i know she went downstairs to to start prepping for that so we're gonna wait for her to um i guess <laughs> log in or or get back in to show us what she's going to be cooking for us today <laughs> okay. so we continue our um discussion or you know Amen. i said on the program uh uh words of uh, inspiration by minister carter is she gonna do that later I'm ready. I, okay. First lady's ready. Oh. <laughs> oh. So we can eat right. out of it, but go ahead, show what you're going to cook. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't say that. It's lunchtime. You well, went I'm, back I'm up. Gonna, I know, gonna right? I'm going to prepare something that you uh, is in our, um, that's in okay. our potluck favorite cookbook. That we okay. Did. Oh. And it's called the and it's called the bell pepper taco. Amen. Oh, and it's something oh. that's quick and simple that we can do. All right. Okay. okay. I did a lot of prepping already. I'm washing my hands so my hands are clean. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so what we're going to use, we're going to use the tricolor bell peppers. What you got okay. the red, you got the green, we got the yellow bell peppers, we got the orange bell peppers. Put your, your favorite, what color you like to be. And we okay. also are going to use our cheeses, different cheeses that we have. 
I know. Wait a I wish I was right near your house. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys got to mute so we can see it because every time you say something, you show up. Oh, I show up. Okay. So I'm using uh, taco season with my ground beef. You stir it all up. Make sure it's all mixed well and good. But once you um, get your meat cooked, you drain your grease off of you, you, it. A lot of you have your oil cans, right? Yes. So you can drain the grease off of that. Now we're gonna cut up our bell peppers. Make sure I don't burn my meat with. Make sure your oven is on 350. Oh, that's neat. Get it ready for you. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Always dip your um, and I'm gonna use my fingers, all right? Dip your peppers in olive oil. You can say you give it, give your bell peppers a bath in olive oil. Inside and out, all over. How about that? How about that? Y'all like that? Mm -hmm. I see We're it. all muted. <laughs> Mute it. Somebody must be on. Okay. We're, we're all here, sister, uh, sister, Lady Bridges. We're just all muted. <laughs> but can you see it? Yes. Okay. And all you do is peel your peppers. Oh. It doesn't matter if it fall off the uh, peppers because when it gets ready in the oven, you're just going to uh, pick it up and eat it. <laughs> I'm going to eat some of that to, when you get finished. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not, young. <laughs> okay. And you're going to come over and you're going to put your cheeses on it. And we just about finished once I put it in the oven. Sprinkle, sprinkle your uh, your peppers with cheese all over. It doesn't matter how it, uh, what kind you put on here. All that cheese in with good. And it goes in the oven. Mm -hmm. Now, the after effect has already been done. Let it cook for 15 minutes. And you put your taco sauce on it, your pecan sauce. Mm. Just sprinkle it all over there. If that's not enough, you can pour it on it. You see it? Yes. Looks good. Now you just pick it up. And I hate to eat when you guys have to eat. Just pick it up. Mm. <laughs> Because she, she hate to do it, but she turned around and ate it. Really? Yes, she <laughs> mm, it's good. Yes. We're going to see taco sauce all over the pink shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Uh, it's good. I know. Praise the Lord. I know it's good. Harvard, that's about it. And I'm trying that for real. Yeah. <laughs> you so instead of using the you just use the bell pepper. Mm -hmm. I got the book. Well, that's good. 
Yep. Yeah, I know where I'm coming for lunch at today. I know, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you, First Lady. That was good. That was good. I'm going to try that. If, if, if anybody need a cookbook, let us know. We still have a few left. Not many, but we still got a few left. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Did she went to have a meal? Did she leave us? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, she got to run back up. She got to get on the other camera. They got a bunch of technology going on over there. I, see. I know that's Brace. right. Brace, like, look at them up. <laughs> That was, that was very good. That was good. That was good. I'm going to try that. Mr. Coleman, I, I need a cookbook. You need a cookbook? Okay. Because yeah, I ended up giving mine away to my daughter and my sister. Okay. Aww. Okay. We'll have one at the church for you tomorrow. If you okay. I'll probably have to get, get one for my, for my um, daughter and my new upcoming daughter. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're $10 and they've got a lot of good recipes in there. They do. Yeah. All righty. I, I think that Sister Goss is on. Is she, is she on? Goss, I see her. Yeah, she, she is on. I don't see her picture, but I seen her log in. Sister Goss, okay. you on? Hello. I've got herself muted. Mm. Okay. Hey, uh, Miss William, can you do something? Do another song. Yeah. Is she on? Miss Carolyn. Yeah, she's yeah. muted. <laughs> I know I seen Renee trying to get on, and she and it said on the bottom can't get on. So I don't know what happened to her. It came across the bottom of my screen. Mm. Well, let me okay. see. There she go. Connecting. That's Christina Dozer. <laughs> I'm Coleman. Yes. She said she went out. Oh, why is the feedback? I don't know. That's only on you. Yeah, is it still on your computer and your phone? It might be close to your computer on your phone. Yeah. That might um, Cynthia, Cynthia went out and she can't get back in. She, mm -hmm. That's why that's why I'm having a problem because she called me and it kicked me out. Okay. <laughs> you want me to say something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Miss Carolyn, a clean heart, so I may serve thee. I can't see nothing. Lord, fix my heart so that I can be used by thee. Mm. Yes. Oh, I'm not worthy. Yes, Lord. Of all these blessings, give me a clean heart so that I may use by thee. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not asking for the riches of the land. Yes, yes. I'm not asking for high men to know my name. Follow thee. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you
Amen. Sometimes I'm up and sometimes I am down. Sometimes I'm almost, almost level to the ground. Please give me, Lord, a clean heart that I may follow thee. Give me a clean heart and I'll follow thee. Amen. 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 Oh, that's Pam. Pam, you got to mute your phone. All right, she's muted. Praise God. All right, a clean heart. Mm. Thank you, God. So we can follow. You see where it says start video? Mm -hmm. uh, just click on it. <laughs> 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 zoom, 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 zoom. I think I got it. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Praise God. All right. So now we are going to move on to um, the second presentation. Um, and that's going to be led by Evangelist Stephanie Long. Evangelist Long. Good morning, my sisters. What a joy to be together today. How good it is for us to come together thank on you, one Jesus. accord. Amen. And so Amen. this morning, I just want to thank everyone for inviting me. I want to thank Lady Bridges for having me here Amen. this morning to be among y'all. Um, I, I went to the hardware store this morning because last night when I woke up in the middle of the night, guys should go get a nut and bolt. <laughs> and I went and got the long bolt. She had a short bolt. All right. It's on where you are in your faith. So um, I got the nut, I got this long boat, and I'm like, okay, Lord, is that? But then I had a great big fat one, too, because <laughs> we know we serve a great God when it comes to our faith. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So as I got this, I, I started screwing it, and like she was saying, you know, you got the ridges and you got to catch it. And so mm -hmm. I started screwing. But as I go and I walk through the word of God, what happens? My faith increased and it grows what? stronger mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I know someone that is greater than my situation. Okay. This morning we're going to look at, at, at our theme this morning is um, nuts and bolts, serving the Lord in faith. Hebrews level one said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders attain a good testimony. We Thank all you, have a track record with God. All right. It does not yeah. matter what we've been through. We Come know that now. God can and he will do it if we just hold on. Mm -hmm. Amen. What is faith? In the Christian context, faith is understood as a gift of God and also requires a human response of approval and just. So that a faith is something with respect to which people are both receptive and act. Our faith is a active faith. Because he said, now, now faith, now then, it may not come then, now, but you know, they always say, he may not come when you want him, but he's what? He's always, always time. what? Time. Time. Mm -hmm. time. It's not what we want. And I think I wrote that question down at Lady uh, <laughs> Evangelist Bridge wrote. She said, oh, do we please God What with our faith? Are we pleasing to God? I always say, Lord, I want to be pleasing in your sight when it comes to believing your word, regardless of what it looked like. And if I, as we walk this journey, we know sometimes it can look real bad if we get real honest with ourselves. It mm -hmm. can look real bad. You're saying, yes. God, when are you going to show up in this situation? All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. How does faith define you? The Bible teaches that faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11 says, so faith is being certain about what we believe a little, but we cannot see with our physical eyes. Uh -huh. When I think about faith, I had to go back this morning as the Holy Spirit led me. It's not on your paper. He took me back to John 3, 16. How many remember salvation came into your life? 
Come on now. He said, for God so loved the world that mm -hmm. whomsoever is open up, believe. How uh -huh. is our believing system in him should not perish, but have what? Eternal life. That is a problem. So our first faith walk was we reacted on who Christ was in our life. The hope of glory came in. We had to confess it Amen. and we had to do Amen. it. We had to do it with our heart. She yeah, cried right. out, Lord, cleaning us a clean heart. And there is a process as we go through this walk by faith. Yeah. He's a greater faith that we have because we have yeah. not yet seen him, but we what? We believe in him by yeah. faith. So when we did that, we accepted him by what? Faith. Right. I, I didn't see him. But I believe it. Believe. Yeah. Oh I believe. Oh yeah. It is already, I and mean, I'm going back to where it said, it is already here, but have not yet manifested itself. It is coming. On the it's a part of that process. It's a part of that work. It's a part of that believing. It's a mm -hmm. part of that trusting. It's a part of that mm -hmm. waiting on God. It's a mm -hmm. part of having patience and not going ahead of God. Don't you know a lot of times we'll mm -hmm. go ahead of God? All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, let's give the example of Abraham and Sarah. What did they do? They gave right. Hagar the handmaiden and they went ahead of God and God had already made them a promise. Mm -hmm. If God has already made you a promise, you must believe and trust that he um, And, uh -huh. and sometimes, guess what? It takes a long time. Yes, ma'am. It takes a long time. Come on now. And we can get real Hallelujah. impatient. Yes. <laughs> I've learned in life that I'm a tour in this thing. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I mess up, but God has mm -hmm. me up fixing it up. Yeah. That's right. Let's look at Abraham, the father of faith. Romans 4 3 say, For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was kind to him for what? Righteousness. righteousness. So faith is kind to us not by our righteousness, but about the righteousness of God. They say he right. sniggered not at God's promises. Mm -hmm. He was a man of faith, and we are being his children. We are counted as righteousness through Jesus Christ. Thank First, you, one Jesus. thing we said about believing God's word, we must believe the word of God. We yes. must stand on the promises. As you yes, know, that's right. there's all kind of Bibles out here. There's everybody got a word. You mm, read yes. lately, everybody on Facebook with a word. Yes, yes. Everybody got something oh, no. to say. Talk to me. It's yes. true. Yes. Come on yeah, now. It's true. it's true. Everybody got word. They all well, came out of word. word. We really need the word we have the to have God. is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. The word of God. We got to learn how to take the word of God and apply it to yes. our life. Uh -huh. Really. Moment yes. by moment, as we walk this walk, mm -hmm. and then we gotta <laughs> trust God. God, I'm gonna trust you regardless mm -hmm. of what it looked like. And sometimes, God, it can look real ugly, but I know yeah. you're working it out for my good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Having yes, confidence you that we that our hope will actually happen. I gotta have confidence by faith in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes, Lord. I gotta have confidence. Mm -hmm. I can't walk around mourning and groaning. And have right. at the same time. So it go Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how did that come about? It comes about through prayer. Mm -hmm. And it comes about spending yeah. having that intimate time. It comes about discerning and learning how to discern the voice of God. Mm -hmm. A measure of faith, believe it. He said, if we have the faith the size of a what? Mustard must, seed. Must seed. That's all you need. Then last night I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, what do you want me to do about the mustard seed? What happens with a mustard seed? You got to plant it. First, you got to go in the dark and it, it got to mm -hmm. be planted. Our mm -hmm. faith has to be rooted and grounded what? In the word in of the God word. and yes. in his love. So as you go plant a mustard seed, it's planted and it's watered. What do we do? We are watered with the word of God. The more we mm -hmm. talk about the word of God, the more we pray about the word of God, the more we listen to the word of God, mm -hmm. the more we're obedient to the word of God, the more we are committed to somebody to say to the word of God, the more mm -hmm. we have confidence. Guess what? That seed start what? Growing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what happens with a mustard seed? Mm -hmm. Mustard start doing what? The vine of the mustard seed, when you look at it, it's strong. Mm -hmm. It's a strong branch. And that's how God wants us to be. He wants us to be that's right. strong in our faith. Not, right. mm -hmm. not double mind, not going back and forth, but seeking mm -hmm. God's face. That is the kind of faith that God that's wants it. us to have. Mm -hmm. Out of the darkness come what? Come light. light. Lord, I may not see now, but I know that you're what? Yeah. Working yeah. out for my good. Because I'm learning that a lot of things we ask for, we're not already ready for it. Mm. Absolutely. God told me. He said, a lot of things you ask for, you're not mature enough to handle it. Mm. Mm. 
I know right. exactly what you need, when you need, and how to do it. <laughs> and God is faithful in his doing. Why? Yes. Because he said he loves us he so much. Mm -hmm. We've yes. got to come to a place of realizing how much God loves us. Hebrews 12, 2 tells us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher yes, yeah. of our faith. Who is the author? Jesus is the author. Mm -hmm. He write our script. He wrote our story this morning. We wrote up. It's a new day. It's a new journey. Mm -hmm. It is a new story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The story is for today. God has already ordered it by yes, faith. So Romans 1 17. So what there is is the righteousness of God revealed from faith. What we go, and this is what I thought about this screw. We go from faith. As we turn this night, we go from faith to faith. What happened? Uh -huh. We have a little faith. Uh -huh. We start getting big faith. Uh -huh. We start growing a little bit more. Uh -huh. We start growing a little bit more. Without yeah. any distractions. Distractions yeah. going to come. Keep your Absolutely. focus. Yeah. Yeah. Focus on Jesus. Lord, I got to keep yeah. my focus. Lord, increase your faith. Doing, I'm, I, I, don't let nothing knock me off the path. Keep yeah. it on now. Yeah. Narrow path. Yeah. Uh -uh, I ain't uh -huh. doing that. All right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna follow you, Lord. You told me to follow you. I'm following you. Yes, okay, yes. Sister, um, Sister Coleman, come, Sister Coleman. No, God didn't tell you to do that, so I need to go over there. <laughs> oh no, Sister Bridges, Sister Bridges, come the other way. She said, uh -huh. well, "We'll do that." But who are you gonna believe? All mm -hmm. right, yes, Lord. I say to you, and a lot of times we get all tricked up because we want to go where the other person wants us to go. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. God no, wants us. God wants you to go. Amen. 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 And I'm not saying that God don't bring confirmation because he's mm -hmm. going to affirm his word. He'll always confirm his word by what? Two or three witnesses. Mm -hmm. yes, but he yes. will give you the word first. You don't have to go around seeking. That's right. God tell My me God. this. God tell you me this. Say you it. know in your spirit. That's why you have what? The Holy, Holy Spirit. Holy spirit. Yes. He swells yes. where? In us. He's not out of yes. us. He's not around us. He is in yes. us. Amen. 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 We don't Amen. talk enough about the Holy Spirit. He leads mm -hmm. and guides us through yes, all God. Psalms 119 says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does Psalm 119 mean? Knowing Jesus, the word of God is enlighten us mm -hmm. and, and, and unable un, um, lamp to guide us as long as we are on the right path. Awesome. And it is a radiant light that banished a shadow of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Illuminate the darkness. Mm -hmm. By your word, I can see what I'm where I'm going. It yes. is a beam of light in my path. God yes. don't want us walking on dark path because He That's is the light. Not. Christ is what He is the light. Mm -hmm. He is the way. He is the truth. And those mm -hmm. that find Him find what we find life, and not just life. We find mm -hmm. what we find that abundant light mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Him. What by faith. Y'all mm -hmm. get excited. Amen. Right. Amen. All right. All right now. What does it mean unto my feet? The light <laughs> on my path will guide me. His direction <clears throat> is ahead of me. Mm -hmm. The same way the word of God is a lamp unto my feet, the light unto my path, guiding us with a path of what? Eternal, eternal life. We want to get to eternal life, but until we get there, we got to walk the path that God has ordained for us to walk. Amen. I can't Amen. walk Sister Coleman walk. I can't mm -hmm. walk Sister Bridges walk. I can't walk none of y'all walk. But what I can do, I can walk the walk. The walk God. The God. Yeah. Takes line up for me. Yes, I can Amen. come alongside you and walk with you. But God has given each one of us a what? An assignment. assignment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. so am I seeking God for my assignment? We are on assignment until we reach what? Heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our goal yes, ma'am. Is to forget those <laughs> things behind us, but what? Reach forward mm -hmm. what God has mm -hmm. before us. Towards the mark, and he has yeah. some great things during this pandemic. It may look mm -hmm. better. Yes, does. I'm telling yes, you, this does. y'all starting this this morning is a great thing. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You're moving forward. You're a woman of purpose. Your yes. purpose is to go with other women. Lord, how can I do this thing? I can't mm -hmm. be in the house of the Lord right now. We can't gather together. So what is the best way? Zoom. Somebody had to come up with the idea and the purpose and the plan had to be put what? In place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> so no one is out not there by themselves. Uh -huh. But we come mm -hmm. together, you came together, working together. And that's how it's nut and bolt. The, the, the boat can't do nut without the nut. <laughs> and the nut can't do nut that's without right. the boat. All right. right. Work together to be mm -hmm. as what? One. That's one. how we put our faith. We got to come together as one. Yes, mm -hmm. not be persuaded to get off the path that God has called us to be on. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory mm -hmm. to God. And Second Peter 1 9 it said, and so we have the pathetic and confirm which you do well to heed as a light that shine in a dark place until the day of dawn and the morning star rise in your heart. Your heart. Someone talked about our heart. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible tells us the way a man speaks is so the out of the heart is a heart, heart. Mm -hmm. heart has to be a light for a dying word world. Mm -hmm. We must read and memorize scripture so that it begins to guide your thinking. Uh -huh. Talk about that Romans 12, 1 and 2, and affect your speech. That means my speech, I'm gonna talk differently. I'm not That's talking right. like world talk. I I'm ain't gonna talk junk. I'm telling you the truth. This uh -huh. is it, but I must yeah. have wisdom. <laughs> Um, yeah. that's it. That's because it. I never want to mm. offend anyone. I never want to hurt my sisters. Why? Because you have been hurt enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have mm -hmm. hurt one another enough. We've called this trust among one another. Now mm -hmm. God's saying, I need you to do a new thing and mm -hmm. I need you to have compassion. As mm -hmm. Jesus feels our firmness, we should have compassion and love towards one another. Mm -hmm. Not to tear mm -hmm. one another down, but to what? Mm -hmm. one another. 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 Faith that's as we're doing what? Walking together in Faith. The book of Jer Joshua 1 a say, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate upon it. They ponder what did Mary do when the Holy Ghost came to her? She pondered. We must ponder the word of God where? In our hearts. We must move it from our head to our heart, and then it must become manifest itself. In our lives, Amen. the word of God will manifest itself in uh -huh. you and through you. And sometimes we try to hide stuff, but what in us? I don't yeah. care how dressed up you get, I don't care how many uh -huh. songs you sing, and I don't care how much word I may preach. <laughs> come on now, in, you gonna come, come on. out of here. I Amen. Amen. It will come out. Mm -hmm. James 2 26 say for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead also yeah. yes mm -hmm. Lord just as the body is dead without breath so faith is, is dead without mm -hmm. good works mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. faith and hope works together so we think mm -hmm. about this thing called hope God is not interested in our amen mm -hmm. no right now you can amen all day long <laughs> yes. but that don't mean you know the man Okay, That's so right. you know, we amen, so don't you know why we amen? Better talk, Mr. Stephanie. And he is your action, your amen, okay. action, your actions. So we talk about faith and we walk in faith in an action mm -hmm. word. Faith does have action. Works does has, but it's not our works or words that save us. It's Christ. We have yeah. to believe in the work that we are doing for Christ. Uh -huh. Being obedient to the mm -hmm. word. Being obedient to the things that God tells us. Mm -hmm. What good is it to some, someone to claim to have faith but has no deeds? All right. All right. Only such faith saves us. Can such faith mm -hmm. save us? Show no. me a man works. Show me a man faith. And show me his mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to know whether you're working for the Lord or you're working for yourself. How do uh -huh. I, say what I say about that? Every time the pastor asks you to do something, first lady asks you to do something, I got to get the glory behind it. Or I get an attitude because, you know what? She recognized Sister Walker and didn't recognize me. All right. Mm -hmm. Or she recognized Sister Collins but didn't recognize me. Mm -hmm. I got to always be up front. No, I don't have to be in front. I like being behind. Hello. All, All right. right. That's right. Amen. Let me stay in the back. And God Amen. fooled me because why? Because he said he will make room, gifts mm -hmm. room for your gifts. Yeah, right. We don't have to push and we don't have to pull. And I think someone Come to, on. they sign up for demolishing one another. We ain't got to fight to get to the top. Right. I ain't fighting to get to the top. I'm relaxed where I'm at. I'm good where I'm at. Right. Oh, that's right. I right. I know God that's right. wants me to be at. Yes. Because why? He's doing a new thing in me. And we have to allow God mm -hmm. to do the new thing because we have to examine ourselves because it's Amen. not about somebody else. It's all about who? Us. Mm -hmm. It's about me. 
Where am I? Am I pleasing to God when you see me? Am I just a Sunday morning person? Mm -hmm. What am I doing here? I'm, I'm mm -hmm. a woman of faith, and I'm going to come mm -hmm. here and trust you. I'm almost finished. Here's James referring that these are actually are the byproduct of a living faith. Works do not justify us or make us righteous before God. Nor are they a means of, to salvation. Rather, our deeds are the fruit that grows from one who is obedient to God's commandment and transformed by his grace. Yes. We are saved not by works or deeds, but by the grace of God, redeemed by his works on the cross. Titan 3, 5 mm -hmm. said he saved us not because of righteous things we have done, but because of his mercy. He yes, saved us through the washing and a rebirth and renewal of by the Holy Spirit. We should have a renewal in Christ. So the question I must ask, what kind of works are you doing? How? What kind of works are you doing? What are your deeds with me? What are kind of fruit are you bearing? Are you a fruit? Mm. Come on. What kind of mm -hmm. fruit am I bearing? Am I praying, bearing the fruit that goes to Galatians chapter 5, 22 and 25 through there? What kind of fruit am I bearing? Mm. Am I bearing the mm -hmm. fruit of love? Am I bearing the fruit of patience? Am I patient with my sisters and my brothers? Am my I being God. obedient to my pastor and my first lady? Mm. And what am I bearing, Lord? Because he wants us to bury good fruit. And then we'll get to the works. Mm -hmm. See, because we want to put the works before we put the fruit. Yes, Lord. But Amen. I got to mature in some stuff. I have to go back to that word mature, but I got to mature in some stuff that I can yes, bear good fruit. Yes, Lord. And that's what God wants from us. Yes. And then this is my last. He's Corinthians 2 5 said, That your faith should not be in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. Mm. Not to put our faith in human wisdom or philosophy, but Colossians talked about all that. Mm -hmm. But in the power of God, since the Holy Spirit knows the secret counsel of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. It is a valid necessary for us to know how to hear what God wants from us. The Holy Spirit help us realize, comprehend, and appreciate the gift of God. Human wisdom does not teach us this truth. It mm -hmm. comes from the what? Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit because the Bible tells gotcha. us that the Holy Spirit, John 8, he said, he, no, uh -uh. Holy Spirit, lead the Holy Spirit. Holy yes, Spirit. Lord. Yeah, say, if you abide in my word, you oh. are my disciples indeed, and you should know the truth, and the truth do what? Set, set, set you free. free. Let's not give us freedom to do anything that we want to do. Freedom mm -hmm. means that we are with God. Freedom to move the way he wants us to move and to know through the Holy Spirit. It is important that we depend and deserve God. Yeah. 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 Yes. Before I close, I just want to to look at Paul a minute in Ephesians chapter one, and God gave me this morning. And this is a prayer that I put in my own life. Uh -huh. And I do this all the time because without Paul in the book of Ephesians and his prayer in chapter one, it's prayer for spiritual wisdom. And that's what we want. Spiritual Amen. wisdom. Oh, man, wisdom. Man, wisdom. That's what got us messed up. Tricks us up all the time. Amen. But I'm just going to read this. Say that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of God, mm -hmm. may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge mm -hmm. of him. Oh, God. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that mm. you may know what is the hope. We want to know what his hope is. Uh -huh. Or his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards, mm -hmm. listen that is, towards who? Us. You put you, towards you. you. Who believe according to working of his mighty power. Amen. We must seek God and ask God for a spirit of discernment. Absolutely. Amen. We must discern mm -hmm. what God is saying by faith. Mm -hmm. That as we walk this walk, we know that we're walking according to God's will, <coughs> not according to man's will. Praise God. Paul said this. He said in Acts, he said, I would rather please God than mm -hmm. please man. He's going to do what God tells him to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I want to please God more than I please man. Mm -hmm. That's what I want my heart to be pleasing. Have I always been there? Amen. But through this pandemic, it has taught yes. me 
Amen. You spend a lot of time with God. With God. Yes, and guess what? I found out I was not where I was supposed to be in this walk. Amen. All right. I was not as loving as I should have been. Mm -hmm. I was not as trusting as I should have been. Mm -hmm. I was not believing God and I'm being honest with you like I should have. Mm -hmm. I had to go before the throne of grace and be honest and mm -hmm. say, God, forgive me for not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And that's what we have to do. Come real with ourselves. Personally. That's right. Go and go real to God. Amen. And let Lord know Amen. where we Amen. are. Because yes. it's not about fashion or form. No. It's about mm -hmm. God getting the glory out of our lives. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, praise God. Amen. And uh, I think we have the Zoom conference up until noon, so it is a now eleven um thirty nine. I'm gonna go right. ahead and do the um, and that was a great word. Um, and I Amen. Just, yes. my little mustard seed here. Amen. That much faith, y'all. Amen. Can, but anyway, so we're, gonna, we're gonna move on. And each speaker, the, the next speaker, if we can hold to our, our ten minute timeline. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, you're oh, fine. you're good, honey. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it may not cut off because I didn't put a time on it, but I'm not sure. So, okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, um, but good. the word was good, it was right, it was yes, what it was. we needed. Yes, so, um, yes, we, we're going to move forward. If we get cut off, we get cut off, um, but not from God. But if we get cut off, <laughs> um, we, we know. That um, it was done in love, and it was it, the word is much needed. Yes. I'm gonna go quickly on to the um, prizes. So uh, I wrote everybody's name down. I looked at the participants who were online. We have three gifts that were provided, and we're gonna give those away. I'm going to pull the name out of here. We're gonna pull ten names. Ten. Ten. <laughs> oh, I got a chance of winning. <laughs> right. For <laughs> ten right, names. All right. I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna show you your gifts. I have three gifts here. Yeah, but we gotta gonna, we gotta get everybody the we gotta give you the ten gifts. Uh we'll give them to you Sunday. So tomorrow. This, yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. All righty. All right. Show you this is gift number one. And I'm pulling the name out of here. I'll put that yeah. up there for you. And let's see. First name I pulled, Reverend Coleman. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's her gift. I'm going to put it over there. Put a name in. <clears throat> number two. And I'm going in here. And that's just what felt right to me. Christine, you're on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that she showed her face when she got a prize. <laughs> right. I'm learning how to do the Zoom thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is gift number three. And <laughs> when I'm here, I'm just whatever feels right. <laughs> Prophet is called you. Are you on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this yeah. one. All right. So those are the three that I have. Now I have to seven, seven more. <laughs> and this name is Sister Carolyn. Okay, Sister Carolyn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number four. And then this one. Let's see. Reverend Ty gets it. Oh, okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to have to show up at church tomorrow to get my gift. <laughs> we'll get it to you. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Now, this one, I think, I don't know who whose um, phone this is. It may be... Uh, I think I saw it come up on the Sister Carolyn again, but it's Galaxy A five one NM. Miss Carolyn. Okay, okay so we're gonna throw that one away because okay. she's on the phone and the computer. That's what what happened. Okay. Okay. Put that back in after that. Back. Uh, next one is 
Christy Bridges. Hi, Christy. <laughs> Hi, Christy. He is number six. And let's see. Next one. Shanine. Nee. Number seven. Let's see. Close my eyes. This one. <laughs> yeah. Number eight. Who was it? Cynthia Gall. Cynthia Gall. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. This one, Vicky. <laughs> Dennis Dixon. So she is number nine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the last one, drum roll. <laughs> Sister Joy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So these are the names that were left. And so, anyway, praise God. All right. So, Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to move right along. We are at uh, 1144, 1145 now. Um, so, uh, Prophetess Collier, you are up next with your presentation. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. The Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. First of all, I'd like to give all the God and Son Jesus Christ and everybody that's here today. Amen. And I, and I enjoy everything I heard. Amen. And my presentation is going to talk about, let me say, about nuts and bolts. And, and my presentation is, 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 what is what is faith? Hebrews 11, Hebrews 11 and 1, talking about what is faith. Uh huh. <clears throat> and it tells us. It tells us um, faith is believing, uh, sure of what we hope for, and confident mm -hmm. of what we um we, what we don't see. All right, faith faith is believing in faith is believing in devotion to attain trust in somebody or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so our faith is believing in what we can't see, um, and and our faith is believing in what we what we trust, which is God. Uh huh. And that's what faith is. And then and it's talking about um, the power of faith. Mm -hmm. The power of faith is having to put your trust in God. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to trust God, we have to have, and we can't see God, but we have to trust in what we don't see, which is God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. So our nuts and bolts, like I said, nuts and bolts. The nut is the, is, is your faith is the nut and prayer is your boat. Mm -hmm. All right. It's going to take you so gonna take your prayer. No, gonna take your prayer. Your faith will hold your hold your prayer together. Uh -huh. All right. So, in order for us, so that's what I talk about is for that prayer, faith, uh -huh. and we have to take what we can't see and believe it that no matter what, like you say, um, let's say speak to the mountain and should be moved. All uh -huh. right. Can't see that, but by faith we can. We, because the Bible said walk by faith, not by sight. And so that we, have to walk by, we have to walk by faith and not what we see. All right, and that's the and then the power of faith, and then and you say also we talk about um, what Jesus and it's in Matthew, Matthew 21 and 22. Mm -hmm. It tell us that um, whatever you believe in, whatever you ask in prayer, you will see if, if you have faith. All right, Jesus, Jesus was saying that we must have faith or belief in order to do something, yes. And it means that that when it is when it is God will to see something done, we He will give us the faith we need to act effectively. Mm -hmm. So God will give us the give us the faith. He will give us the faith to believe what we ask Him, and, and we have and we receive it. Mm -hmm. And and without and then with that being said. So we so we ask God to give us something and we have to don't worry about it or look at it. It's, it's half faith that God will it will kind of pass. Yeah. Yeah. And we have to hold on to that. That's right. Yeah. And then another is talking about the, the armor. Then another by faith is the armor of God. Uh, mm -hmm. Having the shield of faith. That's right. 
-hmm. So when the enemy come, so when the enemy come against us, we put an armor guard and had a shield of faith. Our faith will block out with the enemy trying to throw the. Oh, the that's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. So the shield is your is your faith. Like like you put on a shield on like a, if you put on a shield on it protect your faith from all kind of things. Mm -hmm. So our faith. In other words, our faith is gonna protect us for anything that the enemy comes mm -hmm. our way. That's right. And and another thing we're talking about today is um what is the power of faith? Having having to put your trust in God. That's the power of faith. And put trust in God. Mm -hmm. Trust in God completely. Yeah. Amen. Completely. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I say we're talking, then say faith have benefits. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Faith, um, you could you could be healed with faith. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. You can, Lord. You can yes, prosper Lord. in faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you and and faith with love, joy, and peace. Faith yes. with the natural spirit. So thank you. That's right. So when faith, faith is an important word. It's got a few letters, but it's important. It's it's That's important. Right. It's important to have faith, mm -hmm. and, and then and then not to walk by, it, uh, see it. We got to believe it. Uh huh. We got to have confidence. Whatever the word say, we have to have confidence that God word say that by faith we should receive it. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And doubt, mm -hmm. doubt, doubt. We can't doubt. That's right. Mm -hmm. and, Definitely and, doubt. And then also, and then also we where the word say um. Anything else besides faith is sin. Mm -hmm. So if, if if you if you don't have no faith, that's so that's sin. All so right, that, now that yeah. mean, you are doubting. That means that you are doubting God. God tell you one thing, you and you and, and we doubt, so we not believing what God say. That's right. So we have to have faith and believe you, no matter what it look like, sound like it's it's God word, and we have to believe it. Right. Trust, Amen. Trust God that. Amen. In the end, it's all going to work together for the good of them, love the Lord. Yes, yes. all right. And, Amen. and, and I thank Amen. God for everything. I thank God for everything, everything we said. I thank God for allowing me to be here today to use this word and Amen. be confident that God would perform everything He said, promise in the word. Yes, yes, yes. yes. By, by faith. Yes, Amen. Amen. Our faith. Amen. That's it. Amen. 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 Our faith begins in relationship with God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah, that, was a, Amen. that was a relay race. She brought the last leg of it in quickly. So, Amen. Praise God. All right. So now, um, of the last, well, was well, not the last, but the next to the last thing, um, evangelist, uh, uh you, um, uh, I'm sorry, evangelist Bridges, oh. and y'all, y'all gonna yeah. see here. Well, we want. You don't want to say let's do that. Y'all doing it together? Okay, the same. Praise God. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We just go ahead on and let uh, Vic do the uh, marks of gratitude, and we're gonna close out. Okay, praise God. All, All right. right, I guess I'm up. You up? Mm -hmm. We have had a wonderful time. We just want to yes. thank everybody yes. for coming out. This has been an yes. awesome session. Amen. 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 I, 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 a couple times there, I was like, somebody about to preach. It was just, <laughs> I know that. <laughs> like, um, everybody did great. We just thank all the facilitators. Um, you know, uh, Reverend Coleman, you always start us off good. She, I know she was wanting to preach. She, yes. uh -huh. <laughs> uh, we just thank you so much. We just love the word. Um, Sister uh, Stephanie Long, she always, I love about her that she always just, she don't mind telling you. Um, some things that are going on in her life. That's, that's mm -hmm. always a good thing with her. Amen. I love hearing her. Thank you so much for showing up. Um, Prophetess Collier, she just, like uh, Changela said, she just ended it for us. We All right. A wonderful time talking about faith, embracing faith. But mm -hmm. we just thank everybody for showing up. Thank you for all your sister bridges. I'm going to try that meal like coming up this week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank everybody for coming out and showing up. We appreciate it so much. Amen. Amen. I love you. Love you. Uh, Georgia. Um, um, evangelist. Okay. Okay. Evangelist Bridges. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And I just thank God for um, 
Providence Collier coming on with that um, yes. about the faith. It, and I like the ending part where she said, our faith begins a relationship with God. Uh -huh. Our faith begins a relationship. Amen. With God to yes. have a relationship with God. Yes. 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 Faith anyway. Hallelujah. He got to be part of us. Mm -hmm. I just want to thank all of you all, Sister Walker, for being an MC. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, Evangelist Long, Reverend Coleman, Providence Collier, uh, Minister Carter, Vicky, right. Sister Joy, Sister Kim, Sister Williams for taking them two songs for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, yeah. for kicking over me. Amen. Yeah, family. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bless Bless you guys. Amen. amen. Josh, <laughs> amen. <laughs> and we want to thank Sister Rosa for getting all this information to us. Yes. Yeah. She yes. had to go to public yeah. thing not for her. Amen. And we're just, uh, just keep everybody in prayer because we know we all need prayer. Thank Amen. you, uh, everybody that prayed for us, our leaders, especially our pastor. Give, give our pastor yes. a hand. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 And flag yeah. patch, and um, and also want to thank Amen. 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 And uh, just thanking everybody, amen, for being here. And ladies, I just ask you all just to keep the faith, amen. And, amen. and surely you're going to win the race if you keep the faith. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. And we all make it to the end. You're going to yes, make it. Right. Yes, God. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know that I love you and I thank God for you. Amen. Uh, and also, yes. I want to just make this look real possible. Gloria could not be here because she's she's working. But she's also over at Market Cummins doing stuff for the holidays. So if you can get over to Market Cummins, you decide to go out this afternoon, stop, yeah. stop by over at Market Cummins and pay her a visit. Amen. Amen. And I ask also you all the ladies to remember our Women's Day is getting ready to come up on um, May the 2nd, the first Sunday in May, and mm -hmm. on our regular service. And you know our obligations uh, that mm -hmm. we're going to get, we're going to be having. And I'm gonna be we're gonna be doing our church newsletter so in June, so you'll see all the other calling events that we're gonna get ready to have. And so we know we'll be meeting again um the first Monday in what May? Mm -hmm. Monday. We'll meet that day. Okay. May the second in the morning. No, in the afternoon. We we meet at 6 30. At 6 30. Uh-huh. And I just thank God for the women uh purpose because they are we're blooming and hey, we still act we still do it. We may not do what we used to do, but we hey, amen. We amen. Doing it better. Amen. Amen. Much better. So amen. now we're just gonna pray. Anybody have any other announcement? Anything they want to say before we um pray and close out? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. okay let us pray lord god we just come again thank you lord, thank you, lord god for another day for this thank day you, lord, lord god that you've given us hallelujah thank lord we just thank you for being in the midst of this day we are so grateful lord god thank hallelujah you, we are so grateful for you just being god in our lives yes, yes. everything we've done today lord we pray lord god that you're pleased with us please what we yes, do Jesus. Even in, in our homes, Lord God, help us yes, be God. pleased with what we do. Yes, Keep Lord. steadfast in your faith, Lord God. Keep us yes, steadfast yes. in your love, Lord God, in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus. Keep us steadfast in, the in your scriptures, Lord, so that we might do your will and we might do your yes. works, Lord God. Let's yes. so hide your word in us, Lord God. Yes, we God. live for you, Lord. Keep our mind stay on you. Yeah. Yes, so we God. love you. Yes, we Lord. praise Thank you. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord. We give you the honor. Do we give you the highest because you deserve okay. everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. and more. Thank, Thank you. Now may the grace of God speak in the Holy Spirit. This Lord now and forever. And all of God's children say amen. 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 Thank you, y'all, for a blessed, blessed day. Right. Love you all.